Firstly, take your base. Basically, decoupage is done on almost every surface like metal, ceramic, wood, etc. Here I have taken canvas board. Make sure that your base is white. If your base isn't white, then you need to paint it with white acrylic paint or with white gesso. Next, I'm using this decoupage napkin. If you don't have one, then you can take any printout or any cutout. They have four columns of the same print. Next, using a wet brush, you need to peel off your print like this. Once you are done, take your base and apply some white glue on the base with the help of a old brush. Then you need to peel off the layer beside your paper. Then gently paste your paper on your base like this. You can use a fan brush to avoid any wrinkles. Be very careful while pasting it as you can't remove it again and again. Now leave this to dry for few minutes. Once it's dried completely, take a contrasting color that of your print and start applying it on the base with the help of a sponge dabber. Here I am using indico color. Now to fill the narrow space, I am using a paint brush. Now, if you have noticed that my cycle is looking a bit dull, so to enhance that, I am using the same color that of the cycle. Similarly, you also need to do. If you are enjoying watching this video, then do subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Similarly, I'll do with the whole cycle. Now, using a green color, I'll make grass on the bottom like this.
Next, I'll use this Fevicryl 3D outliner of gold color to enhance these flowers. Now I'll apply gold color on these edges as well. Next, to seal my work, I'll apply one layer of Mod Podge glue which is actually a mixture of water and glue. And it's done.